Hi everyone, I'd like to share with you today some cool new functionality that came out in the June 2022 release of NX called Feature Templates. And I'm going to apply this to do a specific command capability within the Sheet Metal application. So here I've got a Sheet Metal multi-body part where I've constructed two parts a base and a cover and what I want to do is to lock these together I want to tab and slot along these edges for ease of assembly and what you're seeing here is an assembly of the tab part and the slot part linked out into individual piece parts for ease of use downstream in manufacture so the first thing I'm going to do is to create tabs on the tab part and slots in the slot part. If I was to do this with conventional features, I would add secondary tabs to one part. I would add normal cutout to the other and try and line them up with uh, sketches and, and so on. But what I've created using the new feature template capability is a function called tab and slot. And this is completely within the within the feature template capability. So what you can see here, I've got my reference window to show me what to select. I've got my dialogue that's been generated. And let's go ahead and add some tabs and slots along this front edge. In fact, let's do the back edge first. We've got this strange angle to cope with and I'll show you what we can do with that. So the first thing it's asking me for is to select an edge, select the tab edge. So we select the edge, then the tab face, which is the top face in this case, and then the body, the target body for the slots. And I'm going to select this body here. And that's all our selection done. We now need to put in our parameters and hit OK. So let's let's walk through those parameters. I want to start my tabs where the two bodies coincide. So I'm going to create the distance, the distance of first tab using measure. And I set my measure command up and I'm going to pick on these two faces and use the vector of this face to get an exact dimension here. And then the distance of the last tab, I'm going to do the same thing. pick up on this face, pick up on this face and define my vector. I could of course type these numbers in. That's absolutely fine too. Now the width of my tab, so these tabs here, how wide are they? I've got it set to 10. The depth, which is how far do they protrude from the tab? I'm going to increase that to eight. And how many tabs do I want within my span and I'm going to put that down as eight as well. We'll come back to corner profile choice and then if we look at the slot parameters the gap in X is how much gap do I want in the X direction either side between the tab and the slot and I've got that set to one and also in Z how much gap do I want above the tab to the slot feature and I've got that set to 0.5. We hit OK and all of our slots and all of our tabs are created as per those parameters. Now what you can see in the right hand window is because I've linked the bodies, my individual parts have now also been updated. You can see as I started my tab right at the end, I get an open slot here. If I didn't want that, I could just move it across. And in my part navigator, I've got a single feature. Now let's have a look at some of those other options. Let's have a look at the corner profiles. I can add a corner profile of a radius or a chamfer and that will generate the corner profile on the tab. Let's look at something else. Let's just rotate this round and we can see my Z gap of 0.5 is shown here. Well, when I've got a strange angle like this, I'm not sure I really need any gap at all. 
So if I set that to zero, we can see these now come down to zero here. And this is, a, of course, is a normal cutout, so it's gone across perpendicular on the material. And that's tab and slot. Let's very quickly run through another example. Just hitting the defaults so you can see how quick and easy it is to generate those, those features. Of course, in this instance, I, I selected three as my number and only one of them is actually relevant here. Distance of first tab, let's make that 50, let's make that 50, let's make that eight. And you can see how quick and easy it is to update and modify and get the correct output geometry. So that's tab and slot capability in sheet metal using the new feature templates.